Do you want to know what a submarine is and what a submersible is? And what is the difference between them? The submarine is an ingenious creation that revolutionized the exploration of the ocean depths. The submarine is an autonomous and fully sealed vehicle designed to transport people and equipment in the depth of the seas and oceans. With a robust and durable exterior, it can withstand high pressure in the depths and operate in hostile environments. The submersible is also another amazing invention. A submersible is a smaller, more maneuverable vehicle designed specifically for scientific exploration, oceanographic research, and even underwater tourism. It can go to great depths, but not for long, and can be used to study underwater fauna and flora or to explore shipwrecks. But sometimes, underwater exploration with a submersible can be dangerous and tragic. A recent example is a catastrophe with the submersible Titan, which disappeared while diving towards the wreck of the Titanic with five people on board. A submarine has a large power capacity, usually provided by a nuclear reactor, which allows it to travel long distances and remain submerged for long periods of time. In contrast, the submersible has a limited power reserve, usually provided by batteries or fuel cells, which allow it to descend to great depths but not for long. A submarine also has a propulsion system based on propellers or water jets, which gives it speed and maneuverability. A submersible has a propulsion system based on electricity or hydraulic motors, which gives it precision and stability. Another important difference is that a submarine can navigate independently on the surface of the water or underwater, while a submersible needs a mothership to launch and retrieve it, but can go down to quite great depths. A notable example of a deep-sea submersible is the Batiscaf Trieste, which in 1960 managed to descend into the deepest point on Earth, the Marina Trench, which has an average depth of 11,022 meters. The dive lasted 4 hours 48 minutes and ended at 10,911 meters above sea level. On the other hand, a submarine has a greater autonomy than a submersible, but it cannot descend to as great depths. Modern military submarines can generally go down to 300 to 500 meters, but there are also special submarines that can reach greater depths, such as the Soviet submarine K-278 Komsomnets, which, with a crew on board, went down to 1,027 meters in 1985. Research or rescue submarines can descend even further. For example, the Japanese Shinkai 6500 submarine can go down to 6500 meters. But no submarine can go down to the Marina Trench. And yet, why can submersibles go down so deep compared to submarines? Submersibles are usually built from lighter materials such as carbon fiber or composite materials. These lighter materials allow submersibles to withstand the increased pressure at great depths. Submersibles are also generally smaller and more compact than submarines, which allow them to better handle the increased pressure at great depths. Their reduced dimensions and more flexible structure give them greater resistance to the pressure forces exerted by water. So, while both the submarine and the submersible aim to give us access to the fascinating and unexplored underwater worlds, they differ in their depth capacity, size, purpose, and specific uses. Both of these wonderful inventions paved the way for amazing discoveries in the deep oceans. Thank you for joining us on this exciting underwater journey. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and share this content to help us reach as many people as possible.